this question, a lot of students, they'll see the cos 2x and the sin 2x and they'll want to change it immediately. We typically would do that if it was a question like this, for example, if we had something like something like that. But when we've got a minus in between, so we've got like two separate fractions, take care of the fraction first. So if I said 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4, you would have no problem telling me that we need a common denominator. And so we need a common denominator over here. First of all, we should be telling the, the examiner which side we're working on. So we're going to work on the left-hand side. So I'm just going to write that all out again. Now, your common denominator is going to be sin x, cos x. So that means this one is going to be multiplied by cos x. And that's all going to be over the common denominator. We're not allowed to drop the denominator because this is not an equation. It's an identity. And so then we say cos 2x times this one's going to be multiplied by sin x. And then that's going to be over the common denominator of sin x and cos x. Now, because the denominators are the same, we can put everything together over one denominator. And so that's going to be sin 2x cos x minus cos 2x sin x. Then at this step, a lot of students, they're always like, Kevin, can we now change the sin 2x and the cos 2x? Um, guys, you could, but that's going to make things a bit more complicated. Check here. You've got a sin cos, cos sin, and the angles are alternating. Aha, this is actually a compound formula. So if you look carefully, we've got sin cos minus cos sin. Here we have it, sin cos minus cos sin. And so we can take this side and rewrite it as that side. And so that's going to end up giving us sin of 2x minus x over sin x cos x. Now sin of 2x minus x is just x. And so that becomes quite simple. So that's just going to be sin x. So that sin x cancels with that sin x. And then we're left with 1 over cos x. And that's what we've been trying to get. And so therefore, our left-hand side is now the same as our right-hand side.